squad. Let's bring down our first two athletes. My main name, and King Kenny. This is a match that got a lot of people's attention when it was drawn. Um, guys, welcome. Kenny, let, let me start with you. There's been a lot of talk coming in this, this one about perhaps some pressure that you feel. I know you weren't happy with your last performance. How have things changed? Have you changed coming into this weekend? Um, you know, I've had a great camp. You know, I've been sparring, you know, three times a week. You know, I feel good physically and mentally, and I thank God for everything. And, uh, you know, the camp's just been us focusing on, you know, on volume, letting my hands go. And you guys are going to see that this Saturday. And, and Nate, you both have ranked each other quite high. When, it's, when you've been asked to rank the other opponents here, you both rank each other relatively high. It's, there's a lot of respect between you two. Yeah, definitely. What's not respect? He's a great guy. He's a great fighter. He's in good shape. And, I mean, it's... At the end of the day, we're here for entertainment, so why not have some respect for so the person? Nice. What? It's not being nice, it's just being respectful, it's being a decent human being. <laughs> Listen, he's a decent human being, but Kenny, you're still going to have to go in there with bad intentions. We've talked about it all week. I know you're tired of the question, but you got to wipe that smile off this man's face. Yeah, like I say, you know, Nate, Nate is a nice guy, but you know, unfortunately, I'm going to have to batter him this weekend. You know, this is the fight game. It's either going to be me or him. And As like he batters me, I'll still be smiling. And like I said, <laughs> this guy. And like I said before, like, it's either me or him, and it's not going to be me, so. You said, Kenny, that there's going to be no more Mr. Nice Guy when you, when you step out of that ring. Are you looking to, to knock the nice guy out of Nate? Is that what you want to do? Well, if I see an opening, I'm going to take it. It's as simple as that. You know, if I see an opening, fully, you know, take advantage of it and go for it. It's, it's funny you say opening, you know, Nate, when we were doing the face-to-face, -face, yeah. I was sitting back there and I heard you say, not if, but when. Yeah, that's right. There's Even the best boxers in the world, everybody makes a mistake. It's not if, it's when. And when when it comes, I'll be ready to capitalize. Do you think his, his newfound offensive game coming forward, looking to throw big-time shots, is that where the mistake comes? Uh, well, I guess we'll have to wait and see. Because I, I hope he pushes forward. I hope he's ready to throw his hands like he says he is. And uh, that's what we've been training for. Because if he doesn't, I don't think just... The fans will be disappointed, I'll be disappointed. Mm -hmm. Because he's been talking, he's gonna throw, so I'm excited, I'm ready. Is there a danger? Again, people talk about you not, not throwing enough in your last fight. Is there a danger that you look to to show those critics what you've got and you do make them? No, it's all about, you know, throwing with intelligence. I'm not gonna come in at 100 miles per hour, do you know what I mean? I'm gonna be throwing, picking my shots, you know, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna fight a good game. Do you believe that, that Kenny's gonna make a mistake or do you believe that you're gonna make him make a mistake? I guess we'll find out on the day. But uh, you set traps, and if he doesn't fall for them, then you push forward, and then you make him make the mistake. So I'm, whatever comes, comes. I mean, we've talked, this is our third time talking. I'm pretty sure we say the same things every time. I'm just ready to get in the ring and throw down. I mean, what else is there to say, really? I mean, we kind of just sound like a, a broken record saying the same things over and over. Let's just get in the ring and, and find out what's going to happen. I think everybody else wants it, and uh, yeah, we're good to go. I'm ready to, to dethrone the king. It's not going to be King Kenny more. It's going to be Kenny. Need, Prince Kenny. Ooh. Taking the king away yeah, from Take the king away from him. Look, 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 look at it. That's the What are we saying? What we got? Oh no. What is, what is that? Look at that. That's nice. Here, you need some. Oh, you got it. Okay, you got it. You got it. We got the dead king on my shirt. Oh, El Diego. Oh, how about that? Oh, no. He's doing that with a smile on his face still, Kenny. I'm not saying I'm going to kill you, but just Bro, in the last fight was three and a half minute rest in between rounds. I'll tell you, longer round, I longer rest. Actually, got you. How are you going to be ready for this Saturday? You tell me. And you've never fought in 10 ounce gloves before. That's okay. Is that a point that in your last fight there were longer rests, that there were bigger gloves? I'll tell you this, from training with one minute rounds, or one minute breaks in between, <laughs> one minute breaks in between is a lot better because when it's a longer break, your adrenaline drops, you get more tired. So I'm actually looking forward to the one minute. It's I ain't gonna lie, man. this fits me better, brother. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, yeah, looking good. Come on now. Come on now. I kind of want me one of them. What do you think, Kenny? Yeah, I'm rocking it. I think, yeah, I think it's easy. Wait, can, you, can you buy this? Lo longer breaks make you more tired? Oh, he's just chatting shit, man. He's just chatting shit, bro. He's so, he's so boring. I'm chatting yeah. shit. I'm yeah, really no, he's really just chatting shit. <laughs> Even in the workout, you didn't show anything, and I don't understand why you didn't do that. You're meant to be an entertaining guy, you know. What you get people hyped for the fight, and you just sit there doing nothing. Are you trying you to have the same look for all your fights? Okay, so then how many videos and posts have you made? I make one video, it gets a million views. You post one, you get nothing. I'm the one promoting the fight. So is this a video making contest, or is you, it you're be the a one who just said I need to promote it? I was talking about you being entertaining in, in the workout. 
he didn't, he didn't show anything. Well, I, uh, the comments entertained it. They liked it. I think it was entertaining. What, just standing there doing nothing? Or, or you just kind of sad because you couldn't see what I prepared? No, not even. I just think if we're going to hide for fight and build it, both of us should, like, you know, show something. Okay. So you want to show... That's what I'm trying to say. That, that's fine. Show two days before, but, I mean, I've, I've been posting and promoting, so I'm happy. So have I. Okay. Okay, let me just pick up on the point we were talking about a minute ago. Talk about the, the longer rest periods. Do yeah. you believe that that Ned's going to suffer with a, a conventional break between rounds? Does that mean you're going to be open to, to laying in or maybe hurting Ned? Sorry, ask me that question again. Sorry, the, the short break. A lot, do, a do, you, do you think that Nate is going to suffer from not having that recovery time and, and open the door for you to cause some damage? I think he'll be, he'll be in for a shot because this is the first time, obviously, he's fought uh, with one minute break. So I think once he realizes someone's going to be coming at him with bad intentions and he's only got one minute to and then listen to his coach and then get back in there, he's going to realize it's different than sparring, you know? Yeah. How is that gas tank? It's ready. That's all I can say, I'm ready. We've talked about the no headgear. Uh, I know you've been keen on seeing him without headgear. Do you, th I, mean, I mean, we know this at this point, it's different. 10 ounce gloves, no headgear. He takes one of those, I don't know if he's ever felt that. What are your thoughts? I mean, <sighs> once you get hit with just the jab alone, followed by the right, he's gonna see that it's a completely different game sparring, uh, fighting in 10 ounces instead of 16s. Once, once you decide to throw a punch, then we'll find out how it is. Oh! oh. Nate, how do you... You're going to find out this Saturday. I'm ready, I'm ready. Nate, how do you see this fight finishing? Uh, with me as the winner and my hand raised. So, whether it's a knockout or, or by decision doesn't matter to me because it wins a win. Come on, man. Come on. You are right. You're, 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 regardless of placing, everyone's Holson taking the guts to step in here. Yeah. Ultimate respect to each other. Saying, saying they should retire doesn't matter. I mean, if they want to do it again, let them do it again. There. But Kenny, let me go to you on this one. How do you see this contest, contest finishing? Um, if it goes the distance, you know, just, it's just going to be like 15 minutes of hell for Nate, to be honest. Perfect. Because it's a lot hotter in Thailand. I'm used to the heat. You're not. I'm conditioned either way, so that's not going to change anything. That's good. Gents, let's get you in the middle. Let's get you facing off. Definitely. My mate Nate, King Kenny. That shirt is fire. Well, is that is that bad as mine? No, it's not. Okay. <laughs> We're good. I'm the best man win. My mate Nate King Kenny, thank you very much, chaps. Back to the seats. No, you can Yeah, you got you have got to give the jacket back. Oh, I want it. Sorry, guys.